Academy Sports. It's not a game, it's a rich thing. No bikes. Good old Walmart. Target. Nope. Dick Sporting Goods. There's a couple in there. Good number of kid bikes, at least at this location. Where are all the bikes? We can't find them. You hit any store, any retail department store, or any bike shop, bikes are non-existent at this point in time during this COVID pandemic. My local bike shops, some are actually even closed. Uh, during this, this time right now, it's very difficult to find and purchase a bike. And I'm talking about any type of bike, mountain bike, hybrid bike, road bikes. Bikes have sold out almost completely at some stores. Uh, salesmen that I've talked to in some of the department stores say they are getting like a few bikes in per week, but usually they sell out within one to two days. And so it's very difficult for them to keep inventory in. One of the reasons why we already know is because of COVID and the gym shutting down. Um, a lot of people are still scared to actually hit the gyms. And so getting some type of fitness and cycling in, of course, you would have to buy a bike. So that's one, probably the biggest reason why uh, people are buying bikes right now. This, uh, this event actually started happening, I would say, around May. And the reason why I know is because when COVID hit, and I have other videos that kind of go into this, I was selling four of my bikes. I was selling two Nishiki Colorados, the uh, Specialized Epic, uh, and the, um, oh, a GT Aggressor Pro. And then there was one more bike that I was selling, but I can't even think of what it was. It was five bikes that I was selling. And I actually sold all of them right before uh, this this pandemic got really really crazy like around May and so um, during that time I was selling my bikes with upgrades uh, for about what I put into them so I, I would say if I had to total all of my bike sales up I probably broke even uh, just because I take care of my stuff and you know I had some upgrades to help to help up the price but now if I had those exact same bikes and I was selling those I'm sure I would get anywhere from two to three hundred dollars more per bike than what I sold it for back then but I don't care about that it really wasn't about the money at the time I was just downsizing my bikes because uh, I really just only needed needed one and so um, at least for now but there was a time period where I was actually getting ready to purchase another bike it was the, it was going to be the specialized chisel and it was a specific colorway that I wanted it was that blue colorway specialized chisel that's still on their website but of course all of them are sold out 
So I remember um, there was only like three or four bike shops on the East Coast, East United States, that actually had one in stock. One of them was in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I called the guy, I called the, one of the, I called the store and basically asked the guy, hey, is it in stock? He said, yeah. I said, listen, I'm going to drive all the way from Orlando, Florida to Raleigh, North Carolina to come pick this bike up. You know, what can you, can you at least knock off 10% or something? He laughed at me. He was like, man, this bike is only going to be in stock for like a couple of more hours. Like if you, if you want this, you better go ahead and reserve it now, but there's nothing I can do in price. And so I called him bluff. I was like, that bike is still going to be there. This is before the craze hit. A week later, I checked the website. It had sold out. Um, I called the store. It is sold out. Then I look at all the other shops that I saw on the East Coast that had them. They all sold out. I go to the specialized website. Not only did that colorway sell out, the the purple colorway that all of them said in stock, all sizes, all of them now had said out of stock. I go and look at the, the white one that they had, the Dove white one, all of those sold out which was completely available like a week before. I go on Trek's website, all of their bikes had sold out. Every single one of them. It was something that happened in May that, that changed everything, where literally bikes were selling out like crazy. Like you could not find anything online, you couldn't find anything in store. And ever since then, it's pretty much been, been the same way. So basically, I've already done a video on you know beginning mountain bikers or beginning cyclists on what you need to do when it comes to bikes but now that information is kind of crazy because if you go and buy used if you go on offer up let go even ebay people are getting anywhere from two to three hundred dollars more than they would have before you know the bikes started disappearing but the interesting thing is is people are buying new bikes and flipping them i've actually seen people somehow lucking up and getting like let's say a trek marlin which ranges from what six to seven hundred dollars, and they're selling it for like eleven, twelve hundred dollars, <throat> and it's selling. Like I was checked two days later, the bike sold. Um, so any new like specialized Trek or any like uh, name brand like you know larger brand uh, bikes that I've been watching, they've been selling out for like anywhere from two to four, five hundred dollars more than the retail price because you just can't find them. Trek has already announced that, you know, their 2020 lineup is pretty much all sold out. Right now, they're getting 2021s in. But the problem is a lot of those won't even be delivered until December, January. So you can't even actually order one and get one right now. Um, Orange City Cycle, where I get my, my bikes from, they're completely still shut down. When I drive past their shop, which I should have showed footage of that, uh, every single bike in the store is completely gone. Like their e-bike, their their electric bikes, their mountain bikes, their hybrid bikes, their road bikes. There's like nothing in the store. Like it's it's really really crazy. Now I do see the actual results of that. When I'm driving around Orlando, I'm seeing families riding bikes. I'm seeing more kids riding bikes. I'm seeing people in general just outside riding bikes more than I ever have before. So you can see the difference. My neighbors right here, they actually went and bought beach cruisers. And, and, you know, I see them running around the neighborhood now. Like, it, it's crazy how the bike, you know, the cycling world has taken over, you know, in this time. But I get it because, you know, it's still COVID and people don't want to go to the gym and work out. So this is a good time to actually sell bikes. If you have a bike that you've been wanting to get rid of or it's not for you or things of that nature, this is a great time to actually sell your bike. Now, for those of you who are still looking for a bike, here's my advice to you guys. The one thing I'll do is say is just be a little bit more patient or just continuously contact your bike shops or department stores to see when they're getting stocks in and just and just kind of keep a level, you know, keep an eye out on those things and um, and stay on them about it. So you can get up to date information about when the next truckload is coming in and what type of bikes they may have. You really got to have to do your homework and stay on them, though, because these bikes are selling out pretty quick. Uh, the other thing that you can do is, you know, negotiate. You know, when you go and offer up or let go, yeah, negotiate your prices. Um, if you have things for trade, try to offer that. If you're buying brand new, expect to pay a lot for a bike. There's nothing wrong with buying used as long as you know what you're buying. Uh, but it's just the way the game is right now. If you have to have a bike right now, then you just really need to do your research and homework. It's amazing to me 
bikes that I would see at a certain price point, you know, last year compared to right now, where it's almost literally double the price. Uh, it's 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 crazy. I really, really wish I would have hung on to to my bikes, you know. Um, but anyway, at this point in time, um, just wanted to give some information about that. Uh, I, I definitely know it's tough. There's people out here who are frustrated, who um, you know, who've been looking for a bike for a while now. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods. I did talk to the representative there. Again, they are getting shipments in per week, but it's very very low inventory, and you don't really know what you're going to get. So it could be mountain bikes on the truck. It could be hybrid bikes. You don't really know. So you just have to check with your local Dick store. Also, you might want to start traveling. To maybe other cities that aren't as heavily populated so of course major cities like you know I don't know Atlanta Miami Orlando um, you know big big major cities of course you're gonna have a lot more people buying up bikes but if you go to more remote locations or you know um, rural locations you know department stores uh, you, you you might find a better selection there so for example even when times were good last year 2019 you know, I traveled to Gainesville, I'm sorry, not 2019, 2018. So when I bought my Nashiki Colorado, I drove all the way to Gainesville, Florida. So, you know, it was it was a little bit further out, it's like a two, two and a half hour drive to get that bike. So that may be something that you may look into. Going to a different city that's a little bit further out, but call them first and see what the inventory is. Check online, check all the websites, but I will tell you that most of those websites are not going to be up to date with real live information, especially some of your more popular brand websites like Trek and Specialize. Uh, kids bikes, I'm definitely seeing more children's bikes in stores. If I do see bikes, usually it is kids bikes. So, you know, those shouldn't be as hard to find and they're not as expensive, but anything, anything dealing with teenage to adult bikes, you know, those size, um, those size bikes, it's, it's going to be tough to find for the remainder of this year, it looks like. So do your research. eBay, I've seen some pretty good halfway decent deals on that. But of course, you have to deal with shipping and probably putting together the bike. So I don't know if that's going to be your best route. But um, offer up and let go in Craigslist. You really might might luck up on, on those sites because a lot of people who sell bikes um, don't always know the value of their bike. You know, And this is another thing that you have to keep in mind. Everyone who's buying bikes right now, the thing about it is a lot of them are going to end up selling their bikes. A lot of people are buying, but a lot of people are going to end up selling. And this is the reason why a lot of people buy these bikes and realize they don't have time to do the sport. They thought they will have time to ride it. They thought they'll have time to, to, to go down to a trail or whatever the case may be. And they just don't have that time. And so because of that, next thing you know, they're selling it. Also, you got a people, you got those people who buy bikes for whatever reason and realize maybe this isn't the sport that I thought it was and I don't really want to get into it like that. So for example, you got people out here that want to, you know, to buy road bikes and next thing you know, when they're in that traffic, you know, side by side on the road and these cars are going you know, 50, 60 miles an hour beside them, they might realize, you know what, this may be not, maybe this isn't for me. Next thing you know, they're selling a bike. Mountain bikes, they hit their first trail, they take take a nasty fall or they realize how some how scary some of these trails can be and maybe they realize you know what mountain biking isn't for me next thing you know they're selling a the bike um so yeah keep keep checking the the offer up and let go and craigslist apps because uh i guarantee you there'll be a lot of people who are going to be end up selling their bikes um as soon as they get them so you know there will be bikes for sale but you got to realize that these aren't the same times as last year so you're not going to get you know these incredible deals we used to get on bikes like we did before like again I always tell people I, I get a lot of questions about the GT Aggressor Pro and the GT Avalanche and the Nishiki Colorado right I get a lot of questions about those things I got that GT Aggressor Pro for as cheap as $300 at Dick's when they had a super what was the 4th of July sale now I think the bike goes for like 450 or 500 which isn't you know that's almost double the price close to close to anyway uh, the GT the GT uh, Avalanche, I got it for $500 on sale. Now that bike is going for like, what, $750, $800. Um, the Nishiki Colorado, I think the cheapest one, I had two of those. I think one I paid $450 for, and the other one I paid $350 for because of, of a dispute I had. 
you know, now that bike is well, it's not it's not even on the website anymore, but it was going for like six fifty, seven hundred, I believe. So uh so yeah, it's just the times that we're living in. It, it really is kind of crazy, but it's good for the cycling world. It's good to see people out here riding bikes now. It's kind of crazy. It took a pandemic for people to actually, you know, get on a bike. But you know, if that's what it is, that's what it is. But I think it's kind of cool the fact that you just see a lot more people out here, you know, riding their bikes and have a, a newfound love or respect for, for the sport, no matter what it is, whether it's recreational, whether it's, you know. Um, professional or, or whatever the case I, I think it's kind of cool but um with that being said i didn't want to try to go too long but i just wanted to let you guys know give you some tips and hints to try to help you guys find bikes uh definitely check out the apps that i mentioned and definitely try to just negotiate the best price that you can and good luck on your journeys on trying to find one and um and yeah i'll catch you on the next video peace